Welcome to this edition of Northwest Real Estate Forum. I'm your host, Patricia Wangsness. Our goal is to help you understand the art, science, and timing of real estate by bringing you relevant topics and experts with up-to-date information on what is impacting your biggest asset, your home. David is joining me today, and we want to share the principles of success when working with a real estate broker, education, navigation, and communication. While these are necessary in every successful professional transaction, the unique pressures of a real estate transaction make them the difference between misery and happiness when all is said and done. Welcome, David. Let's talk about the education piece of those three, educate, navigate, and communicate. It's like that's a, a lot of uh, ground to cover, and so where do you start? Um, I think one of the most important things is to uh, educate uh, the client as to the entire process, even if they're a fir first time buyer or they've done it before. The process is kind of dynamic and it does change. So I think it's really important to educate completely about the process from start to finish, what happens when it goes into the market from a seller standpoint uh, into the MLS, what takes place when there's a purchase and sale agreement, what the deadlines are for a buyer uh, to have to meet for inspections and that sort of thing. So just a kind of a re-education process for those who've already done it, but uh, a brand new process for uh, those first-time buyers. Right. And from a buyer's perspective, we always want to educate them about the market, you know, the local market, the national market. There's so much news out there. People tend to gravitate to the news that justifies their position as opposed to what may be real. Well, that's probably one of the most important things is how did they get, what is their perception of the market and how did they arrive at the perception they have? There's so much data uh, out there for people to interpret and they don't always get to interpret it correctly. Uh, for example, we had a client at one point that brought in when it came time to make an offer, brought in his computer and his data and sat down and told us what he was willing to pay for the house which was well below market. And uh, unfortunately, because of that, they did not get that house. Yeah, well, we've had that at many levels. We've had sellers saying, this is what I want for my house for re financial reasons that they might be upside down, or they just have an ego and pride invested as to, this is what my house is because my neighbor got something else. From the buyer side, well, we, we don't make the market. The market makes the market. And it's only what a willing buyer is to, willing to pay for a house uh, as to what that price is going to wind up being. Yeah, you've got to leave some room in the deal for everybody to have a sort of a win-win perspective. Because if you do win-lose, it never works out. Our advice to both buyers and sellers, and uh, we try to uh, work this way ourselves, is we try to keep the egos out of it. Make it more of a business decision, although that's hard, but the education becomes a win-win, uh, results in a win-win as opposed to a win-lose uh, situation. Well, great. That's great advice, David. Thanks for sharing. It's always nice to be here and uh, put uh, some great information out. We hope you enjoyed this edition of the Northwest Real Estate Forum. Please watch for the next edition when we talk about navigating the obstacles in the process of buying and selling real estate. Remember, whether you are buying, selling, or sitting on the sidelines, keep watching for important information on topics that are impacting your biggest asset, your home. To learn more about this and other shows, please visit us at northwestrealestateforum.com. While you're there, be sure to order your free copy of the Buyer's Guide and the Seller's Guide for great ideas on how to get the most out of buying and selling your home. I'm your host, Patricia Wangsness. See you next time.